Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, June 3rd, 2024. I pray that God will continue to be with you and may he continue to provide for you and bless you. Our reading today comes to us from 1 John chapter 5, reading from verse 14 to 21. And it says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death, I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in darkness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and he hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourself from idols. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words. So this morning we are reminded that we can trust God when we ask anything of him. Because he said in his words that our needs he will supply. And so here the writer is telling us that we have a confidence in him we can take his words for sure that if we ask anything of him God that he will hear us and he will grant us and he will grant us according to his will and that is what we have to keep in the back of our mind it must be his will so yes he promised to give us what we ask for but at the same time God will not give us something that will destroy us because he loves us. And so, of course, he's going to give us what is best for us. And I know a lot of time we get disappointed when we pray and ask God for something and we don't get it. And we feel like God somehow disappoint us or he let us down. But have you ever stopped to consider that maybe the thing that you are asking for, God is saying that not the time or he can't give it to you because it is going to cause you some kind of harm. Have you ever stopped to think about what are the possibilities that you might not have gotten what you asked for? And maybe that is why a lot of us when we pray, most prayer that is pray, they, we are afraid to say, thy will be done because that is like cutting off our head. And why is it like cutting off our head? Because what? We don't want God's will to be done. We want our will to be done so when you say his will be done you are basically signing the document sealing it and saying that it is final dear so and i can't take back my word but when you don't say that now you feel like okay the ball is still in your court and pre-adventure you don't get what you want you can say well me never say his will be done but that's not how prayer work friends whether or not you say his will be done his will is going to be done because as i say god see your need before you do but the, the the reading this morning is just telling us that god will give us what we ask for in the context of what is good for us do we understand now okay and so it speaks also about you know sin unto death can you sin unto death of course when you commit sin you are basically separating yourself from the alliance of God, removing yourself from his protection and his safety. He says, all unrighteousness is sin. So when we have given our hearts to Christ, when we have surrendered to him, we gain eternal life through him and we are now under his protection. So we are in heaven protective custody. 
or if you want to say the witness protection program <laughs> if you want to stretch it like that so you are basically under God's protection and no harm can come to you not unless God allowed so and if he allows it he has a very good reason remember Job okay so sin is a very dangerous thing and that is why we must keep clear of sin so those who walk with God belongs to God but those who are not of God they are walking in darkness and those who are of God they are walking in light and so Jesus came and he came to give clarity on a lot of these things and give understanding so that we can know what is the truth you know but even as I think about this right now you know it's so funny that they the leaders of the church at the time were so upset with Jesus all because he was telling the truth and setting the people free and drawing the attention away from them and they hated him for it it's only proof that they were in darkness but we are encouraged that we need to do what we need to keep ourselves from idols and so let us not be afraid to ask God for anything. Let us trust in Him. Let us have confidence and believe His word. Because He is able to take care of our needs. Amen. May God continue to bless you. And may God continue to keep you. In Jesus name. Amen.